well. Good afternoon. I am Mo Love. This is my bass guitar. I feel some beat.
beat that, that I heard earlier. I think it was James uh, Leslie. <clears throat> it was his, his video. And I guess he went to one of them clubs and shit was banging. Monty, Monty, what you doing, Monty? <laughs> Monty, what you doing? <laughs> where you be at they know where to find you have your camera taking all your pics and flicks you dig you are a photographer you do all of that camera work and everything get in there and later on I'm gonna I'm be I'm gonna send you a, Uh, some of those uh, where you training basketball players or whatever you training them you know you got to keep them on basic because every team always got everybody want to be a star no matter whether he's the forward or just a plain old guard or a point man or whatever you got to get them used to uh, taking direction whether the play works or not because <clears throat> when you get on a team, you want a jersey. You got to show that you can follow direction and try to make this idea happen. You know, whether you can score 50, 100, or you can ask all the professional ball players, they'll tell you that over all that that you see, they only displayed it 
when the coach said, okay, I'm going to give you free range and let you do what you want. So then they give you the ball, and then you go ahead and go nuts, you know, let you go a little bit. Instead of keeping your, your balls all tied to your ankle and shit. See what I'm talking about? But you first, you got to be a team. Learn how to be a team player. You know? So, along with that, you know, you're always the basic ball handling skills. That's what you got to, that's what you got to instill in them youngins, man. You know? Then that's where your coaching comes in.
think we got the base with a bunch of bottom in it. I like the one. That you would call y'all, you just a uh -huh, and a uh -huh, you just keep on telling me this, telling me that. It's a natural fact. You got a lesson that you wanna teach. Well, here I'm his baby. Practice what you preach. Yes, put it on me. a dunt, you dig, fire up your blunt, whatever calms your nerve, and we're going to figure it out together, you and I, you dig, you and me. Speed up, another moment you gotta hurry up and get to it, you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, y'all. <clears throat>
but dig it. <clears throat> so we were talking, right? And you know, he was, I just let the man talk. I let them talk, man. You know. Don't need to get me excited. And you know, I just, you know, threw a little something out there at him, right? Yeah. This is what I really do. You know. And if I was in the vicinity, that's what I'd be. That's where, that's where you find me at. You find me in Omaha, Nebraska, right? When I go there, let me tell you something, man. I come up just like that. I could leave right now and go to Gunderson Rail in South Omaha, fill out an application, right? Go back there run a bench test and then the next tomorrow they'll be telling me to go have go to the clinic and and pull off the drug stream you did and then when i finish that go get my tools and then show me where my locker is where i can go and get busy now this place <laughs> I worked temporarily for him once I left him up there back in uh, let me not tell no tale let me tell the truth I think it was somewhere around about it was April showers bring May flowers something to that Right? Because it just rained a lot. It rained, it rained, and rained, and rained every day. Every, every day. And at this time, we're delayed. Let's see. At this time, Everybody was in the town, but I put it this way. Uh, it just had rain, man. It was. Oh, I mean, it was, man, I'm telling you, it was about to be back in 1920-something, man, 1927 or something like that. The great flood down this way, man. Let me tell you something, man. And if this place is looking right now, you know. I'm just going to say this to you. I'm not trying to be a smart aleck or anything. Oh, no, no. I ain't trying to be a smart aleck, but I'm going to show you a little something. You know. You try and you try and you try to, to you know, be humble. And it seems like you just can't get this humbleness off, right? They just... want to jack you around in some kind of way so dig this is what this is what I got back then you know I was talking like I don't work on boats I, this is what I do right Gunnison Rail out I work on railroad equipment, this, that, and the other, you know. Just in case to see if they can remember me at all. Because I've filled out applications a few times before and they left me in the, in the lobby just looking and, and looking and, and looking and waiting. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll get back to you, right? So, this place right here. Hello, are you, are you there? Are you there? This place here, are you there? What does this say? Okay, let's see if he can't remember. This. What does that say? Hmm? See, I gotta find the camera. <laughs> Over here, the camera. A lens, your eyeball. You see that? What does that say? Can, can you read that for me? Right here at the top, what does that say? Can you read that for me? You see how you just try to be so humble? You come in as, you come in as the big dummy, right? <laughs> oh, everybody comes in. Oh, they're coming in hot. Oh my God, it's such a rat race. Oh my God, it's such a dog fighting. It's like, look, man. Y'all go ahead, but don't step on my sack lunch, man. Y'all fight, bicker, do what you gotta do. Uh, don't step, don't step on my my boots. You know, <laughs> come, 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 come. <laughs> what does that say there? Can you read that for me? Huh? Did you really think I was gonna step to the plate, not gonna knock it out of the? Oh, oh, you know the number ain't changed. It's still the same. All you gotta do is call me. You really need me. You get tired of fooling with them fellas. You guys, hey, hey, hey. A matter of fact, I should go in there and go get the other handbook with all that stuff. Big old thick. Uh, uh, portfolio, or whatever stuff. <laughs> See, huh? Are you with me now? Only problem is, place is like twenty-two miles away, about forty-four miles round trip. Can you imagine doing that every day? Eats up about, <clears throat> oh, I'd say about $11 of gasoline within a day or two going back and forth. Yeah. And, you know, I asked for $25 an hour, and he said, how, oh, you know, how, oh, I, I ain't giving you no $25. An hour and I said, Oh well what will you pay? What did you what did what did you start them out anyway? What you know, what will you give me? Will you pay me? He said, Oh about twenty five or about fifteen dollars an hour. You know, I said, Oh man, I'm look, I'm easy, man. I wouldn't give a damn if you just had a job picking up the the debris on the parking lot, man. Whatever little job you want to get to, I'm easy. I ain't hard at all. You know, I'm saying, what do you need? You need somebody to weld these boats, or do you need somebody to? What do you need? What do you need? I don't care if if all them other guys is just running. Oh my God, they're breaking their freaking neck trying to get up here to weld and all that kind of stuff. Go ahead. I'm just trying to work. But you know, the thing about it is. is even though he offered, he said he wasn't going to pay me. Now, I went uh, 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 $2 shorter of what I was asking for that you should get if when you know your worth, right? And the time. And then he offered me $2 less than 
uh, what they call uh, uh, I guess you would say entry level you know that's the standard in no less than seventeen dollars an hour in the trade period right he can't offer you that that's the pay, pay scale is starting at seventeen dollars an hour so right then he was telling me he wasn't really gonna hire me and then uh uh, the secretary woman walked me out, you know, guided me back out of the building or whatever and said, oh, well, we will call you Monday sometime and let you know, uh, schedule you another appointment or whatever if we was interested in hiring you. And bright and early in the morning, it was left a message. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> uh, your endeavors, you know, we, we, we appreciate appreciate now you see and the only thing they're working on so far right now is just your regular little bass boats right something look like about the size of a, uh them floaties they make with the great big old tanks on the on the you know one of them barge looking little small barge looking boats right and the other one, bass boat, of course, fishing, right? But when I was hired back in 2008, I don't know whether you can see that, but uh, you see that boat right there? That's what we. That's what I was working on. And it's a lot to it, especially on the inside of this vessel and all these different parts. It take different welds in the structure of all this and it's made out of aluminum so real heavy aluminum it's not light but yeah i'm here my number ain't changed you, you dig what i'm saying my my phone <laughs> it's working so you called it yesterday and left me a message so if you want to reconsider that's up to you but I really thought about it. To go back and forth, that's just gas money to get up and say you was working, you know what I mean? You know, that's like Oprah Winfrey had to give up her show, basically, because She was just paying, she was paying them. so crazy man Let's see. it sound right at first and then it just it goes to some old muddy
songs ain't what they used to be. Radiation in our mountains and on our seas, a fish full of mercury. Marvin. trying to get there.
Once I learn it, then I can teach you. Those that don't know, you like, I don't know how to play it either. So I'm trying. I keep holding on to it way out here, right? But you really want to replace it with your finger. See, like that right there. You want to replace it with your finger. That's what you want to do, right? But you want it on the tip so that <clears throat> you have more control. That's what I'm trying to do, right? slide way down there again so let's see if we can place it up here again let's see if we can't get more control of Thank you. 
to move around so much, right? Keep mailing with it, right? Like, wow, you go from bass to guitar, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, dude. But yeah. gotta get him but <clears throat> it'll become a little more easy to understand what he's playing no matter how these strings are if you know what it is he's playing and I haven't quite figured that out yet you know he has in and, and he'll tell you it is not that much of a mystery why god damn why does everybody keep trying to dissect that shit it's just a you know what i'm saying it's just a b minor e minor is a e whatever or c da 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 just because the damn strings are turned upside down it's still the same all you got to do is bar it wherever and put your little dusty little fingers on it said he's lazy he don't like to do all that he just make it sound like he's doing all that but he's doing a lot don't let him fool you on that one he's doing a lot and it's that's because it's that lip <laughs> that's because i don't want to do a whole lot i'm able to exhort all my energy and what I want to play. Not that I got to play. You understand? <laughs> but 
But you know, I, I got to follow Eric Gales because he he been in the game too long. You know, he done, he been in the game too long, man. Been in the game too damn long. played enough of everybody else's music till he don't want to get caught up with the truth is about Jimi Hendrix now he Jimi Hendrix is most people's hero no matter which way you look and at it right he's everybody's guitar hero but the ones that you wouldn't even have thought you know that he'd take a second guess at was the people that he looked up to and then he's still trying to get away from them copyright uh, issues, right? He took their music and made it better, but it's still a sample, and damn it, they want all your goddamn money, right? And then you got your janky uh, promoters. <laughs> you know, you got to save every damn dollar just to just to have some fucking money. You can't do shit. You know. Then you gotta go ahead and try to go ahead and foresee some shit and then later on, look, man. Yeah, well, you gotta keep working. You get what you want now. Right? Because at this point, that's where you really should be. That's what they be putting on it. You do the work and damn it, the taxes be laying in your lap for your little goddamn cheese. It's like, well, wait a minute, I ain't seen this. Like, they got to take that up with them. You got to take that up with them. Right? <laughs> all I know is, all I got in this world is my boss and my word. And I don't break them for nobody. You see that pizza chip <laughs> promoter over there? I never liked him. As far as I know, he had me and my my best friend killed. I'm gonna tell you one time, one time only, Tony. <laughs> well, listen, I'm only gonna tell you one time, one time only, Tony. <laughs> Don't ever fuck with me. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. Don't try to screw up. Don't try to cornhole me. <laughs> Don't ever try to cornhole me. Or you'll be right on that same, that very same rope on that damn helicopter. I'm gonna do my thing. Can I do, 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 do my thing? Can I do my thing? I mean, well, you can do your thing. You, all you gotta do is listen. I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna I'm do my thing. Hit me.
get up off of that thing. Girl, release that pressure. Get up off of that thing. <laughs> See, get up off of that thing. Let the booty hole get pressure. <laughs> release your booty hole with all pressure. Get up off of that thing. Talk to you women. Hey, can I talk to you women for a minute? So damn hot, it's too hot to even try to have sex, let alone, you know, you like, <laughs> it's too hot. That's how hot it's been down here for the last month of uh, summer. Please believe me, it has been <sighs> dragon hot, I'm telling you. A hundred and two uh, degrees. At night, it's still 90 some degrees. That's hot, baby. That's hot. You just cook a whole turkey, boy, in, in, in a matter of minutes. We're gonna, we're gonna go back and forth. Study on some of this right here. Try to get, and you're going, you know, you got to work in these chords. You know what I'm saying? Get these chords. Once you get these chords, the rest will come alive for you, trust me.
go that far for what you're looking for. Where you at, Slime Pack? Big Chocolate, what you doing? <laughs> I'm busy, my love. I'm on this motherfucking truck. I'm on this truck. <laughs> I'm on this truck. I just leased. <laughs> Did you like it? It's a Peterbilt. Yeah, I like it. You know, I love it. But I don't want to get spoiled. Too spoiled. I can't do nothing exactly. But yeah, baby. You have no children's, the open road for you, but I, I suggest you get you a dog. Get you uh, an Akita. See, now I don't want no damn Akita. Why? Because they chew up everything. It's too fucking mean. <laughs> it's too mean. I don't know. I kind of fit you. Well, I'll tell you what you do. Don't get no stank. Don't get no crazy ass uh, Doberman pension. He changed too much. It's like Richard Pryor tell you. One minute he playful and everything, the next thing you know, you hit the door. <sighs> Where he sit up, them ears pump. You can't leave. <laughs> Where are you going? No, you can't leave. <clears throat> get you a rock. You want you a rock wallet. He said, no, because the bellow in his bark even scared me. He said, <laughs> like, he tried to let you know. And he just almost just straight to the point, but he's real intelligent. He don't really get in your ass unless he, listen, you almost think, well, damn, what that human being doing in that dog skin? <laughs> yeah, that's what you need, one of them, maybe. Or you don't want no attack cat. You go and fluff on your pillow and all you see is a cat turd up there. You be mad as well for cat, cat be looking at you like. Hey, what you looking at? <laughs> yeah, I see <should> that. <laughs> I said it on that pillow. <laughs> get you, uh, I'll tell you what you can get, though. Get you one, get you a, a real killer. One of the little dogs about so, so big that hair don't shed all over the place. And can fit through that truck perfectly. And before you know it, that dog will be eating your ass up. <laughs> one of them don't mind the smallest one is the meanest one is the toughest one until one of them bigger dogs look at him and say what you talking about grab him real quick and shake him up and set him up and throw him over there or spit him down on the ground then he be over there kicking his eyes be looking crazy and like um yeah Anywho, man, listen. Look at C Arch. You missed your blessing when you called me and told me that yesterday. You missed you missed your blessing. You did. <laughs> You missed your blessings, son. Yeah. You got to remember, we just come out of pan get pandemic. And we still in it. i just like to know, can't we all just get along? I'm going to love you in the man cave. And I shall return back a little bit later with some 
guitar experience. Get e on the Delta. My blues, my way. Mo love.